I'm Real Genite Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 19 of Volume 2. Sorry, I've got a bit of a croaky throat at the moment. I'm just very dry. It's all things. So I'm blaming the weather. I'm blaming the weather. Anyway, I've got a couple of other tapes out again for you. Some exciting things. Some exciting things here. We've got, and there's some that I don't know. I don't know Surf Red, and somebody spent a real effort to do sort of, what, what would, you, would you call it? Calligraphy type thing, that ye olde Englishy type stuff that uh, you, you only monks did. I'd like to think that it was his owned by monks. Maybe it was owned by monks. Anyway, and Critical Bass, which is a, I think a Durell game, isn't it? It's, it's sort of you scoot across the surface. Anyway, um, W. H. Smith tapes again. Same same batch as last time round. Um, I still haven't opened the uh, big brown um, ugly looking box, but uh, I, I might just do that on on camera. But uh, yeah, we got Surf Red, Critical Mass. And then on this one, because I'm always talking about it, Green Bray, because it's just literally better than the arcade, and Batman, and I'm not sure which Batman it will be. I'm going to assume it's the isometric one, but it might not be. So, so again, a little bit of W.H. Smith tape. So, so, so we've got those four initially, but as you know... Hang on a second. Da, 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 da. I've really got into doing these orphan tapes. It seems it seems wrong not to save the orphan tapes. So I'm gonna stick my hand in and give it a wiggle around, see what we find, alright? So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna What we're we gonna get? Uh I don't know, look there. Oh bomb scare, right, okay. Um this one I don't know, I think this can be a bit hit and miss when it comes to loading actually. So um this was an original I'm trying to see if I can see it actually handy. Can I see it handy? Uh, I cannot see it handy. The, the, I do have... I do have all the original white labels. It's one of those original white labels, but um, I'll, 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 I will... I'll, I'll probably won't find it there. But anyway, without further ado, I'll get this one into a tape drive. Okay, the tape is in the drive, so we're going to go down to our favourite, basic, and then load dip dip, like that, there we go, load dip dip, or load speech marks, speech marks, because I didn't know what speech marks were when I was a kid, it's definitely dip dip though, everybody says in the comments it's dip dip, so if you're new, new to this, 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 this thing that I call, uh, I don't know what's on the tape. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. You see how croaky I am at the moment. I sound like Mariella Frostrop. Do you remember Mariella Frostrop? She was once voted sort of one of the sexiest voices in the world. I don't know if it works for a man, but uh, for a woman, it's that. So she, she was, she was kind of. I mean, and I think the definition of a woman with a sexy voice is somebody who's obviously smoked sixty a day minimum. Um, but she used to have this sort of, um, sort of croaky, sort of, um, sort of not croaky. I don't know, wrong word. Croaky. It was very, it was very sort of gritty, growly. Sort of, but um, with a female twang to it, and um, you can still find her online. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to find things from her. She still, I think, she still does the BBC um, on sort of Radio Four or something like that. Maybe she's getting on a bit now, Mariella. But but uh, yeah, Mariella uh, Frostrop. She was she was kind of the uh, she was she was kind of that that growly voice. She had a lovely voice. She used to do the she used to do the movies at one point. I don't know who she took over from. I don't think it was Barry Took. It was um, somebody else. I think she took over from, and she did sort of a more gritty version of the whole thing. She did that for a while. I know she was on the radio for a while. She never really kind of disappeared particularly. I mean, you you won't find her if you, unless you're looking for her. But um, but Mariella Frostrop. Doesn't sound particularly like it. It sounds. It sounds like a, a, a more more um, a foreign name, but I doubt it. Somehow, I don't, it sort of sounds it. Anyway, right. Coffee, coffee. I need coffee because obviously I'm croaking. So let's get coffee in me, and oh, that that might help. Um, let's hope this loads. Well, it hasn't got funny colours this time round, so that that's a good thing. Maybe I don't know. Mm. It's got funny colours. It's one of them turbo loaders. I can already tell you now. It's a turbo loader. Um, I think I've got this somewhere, but I've never actually played it. I think it's a Spanish import to the UK. Don't know who re-released it, but um, it's certainly, it's certainly. Here we're going to find out in a second. Yeah, it's a Spain at the bottom. Look, Surf Red. Microgen, made in Spain. Yeah, right. Um, I don't remember what this looks like at all, cover-wise. Um, you can't really tell. Sometimes that might be the case, and you know, obviously he's saving some lady. That's what he's doing. I'm just looking. Has she got no top on? I don't know. You, you, and you. I'll let you closely inspect the screen now while we while we load it. Um, I'm sure this has got a a, um, a follow up as well. 
that's uh, that's equally loved um, uh, amongst the, the sort of Spanish girls. I got a few comments the other day about I can't remember what it was called. Vampire. Vampire is actually you know, the, the 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 micro the the Codemasters re-release of a game Spanish game. Vampire is actually Phantomus Two. Um, they did release Phantomus One. I assume they didn't do very much with they didn't do very well with it. So so they re-released it as um, as sort of you know re-released sort of Phantomus Two as as Vampire. Because I'm about to say vampires are cool. So 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 re-released released it and I think they jigged the graphics a little bit so they changed the main character within the whole thing. Phantomus is still going. I think it's I think the people who created it originally still create additional games for it. I, I wanna say um Mojo twins or something similar? I want to say that, but I mean, that's the, 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 the it, that's that that's that, that that those 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 are the people Oh my god. Oh ugh, ooh. I was getting close. I could tell that was getting close. Let's do another load of data. Because this is, the, this is the nature of the beast. You know what you know what it's like. You've come here for the pain, pleasure and the pain all at the same time. And I certainly think that you all like my pain because um, the voting in <laughs> on the volume one is hilarious. There's like one person who's voted for me to have the nice one, which was like I would say was the was the um, ace sort of ace karate combat stroke kung fu one. Um, everybody else has voted for game set and match. I I, I think I think that's because I I dally with the, uh, the the uh, the brown menace of uh, the of the of the Commodore 64. Sometimes I think you were all punishing me for that. Uh, and somebody, I think I can't remember who it was in the comments. I lovely, I love that. I um, apparently I'd beaten them to a few things on Sinclair for sale. Um, I, I do apologise. I probably do a few things, like this. <laughs> but was it really necessary to punish me? I suppose it was. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. I'd do the same. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was really funny. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> you beat me to it. I'm going to make you play game set and match instead of anything else. But if you want to vote on it, it's in the first episode, volume one, uh, season nineteen. Go have a little look. Um, the two options are there. If you want to vote for it, stick it in there. That's how I count them up. I count the comments from there. Um, but but uh, yeah, this thus far it's it's heavily weighted towards um, um, punishing me and the joystick um, that I'm going to be using. I'm going to try the Sinclair one because somebody suggested this in the comments below about um, holding the Sinclair joystick and then waggling the bottom. This isn't going to load, by the way. Not like that. I'm going to have to find the uh, the the Play ZX version. I'm not, I'm not even going to get to the end of that. I'm just going to stop it in a second because because that's not going to work, is it? It's definitely not going to work, um, but yeah. So, so <laughs> I think you're all great. <laughs> I give myself the option of punishment. You all, you're all, you're all, you're all for it. Go for it. Um, oh, it was released in '86 and then re-released in um, oh loads of times. There's loads of Sir's games. Sir, 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 Sir Fred. Amazing. Sir Fred. There's loads of Fred. There's loads of there's loads of Sir games in there. That's quite kind of cool. Right. Okay. Let's pop pop this into into my phone, um, like that. Pop this into here and hope that people who are talking to me on WhatsApp and I really should put it onto flight mode um, aren't still talking to me on here. Let's do the re-released version because it says it's a quicker loader. Go, go, go. Zagarat Software in, 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 um, in uh, Spain re-released it. Zagarat. Zagarat. Cracked by FutureSoft. Uh, FutureSoft. Right, okay. This is a cracked version of it. Oh, oh the naughty, naughty so-and-sos. Cracked version here on the whole thing. This though, I, I, I love the load. By the way, whoever's done that is is awesome because that's not how it loaded previously. Look at that filling in as it goes. Original a master clue. There we go. There's a, such a little effort got into that. It's very cool. That was excellent. What was I gonna say? Anyway, um, yeah, um. Am I going to get any loading on the edge of the screen now? Or is it just going to load? We're not going to be able to tell. It's just done that. Um, yeah, we're going to. We're just going to have to wait until it gets to the end of it. At least I know from the tape thing either whether it's finished or not. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Uh, I've forgotten actually. Completely forgotten. There's some flashing on the edge of the screen. That's quite nice of it. To sort of. I'm not going to stop it because that looked like it was doing something there. Yeah, we'll we'll let it 
do what it's doing because I'm not sure whether that's crashed or not crashed. It's quite a long load though for it to be for it not to be working. Completely lost it there. How's the weather been treating you this last week? I've been off for the last week, but um, I kind of wish I was in the office because at least we had air conditioning. <laughs> it's been a bit warm, hasn't it? It has been a bit warm in the old UK. Um, apparently thunderstorms are on the way, though, so, so we could do with a bit of breaking up of it and all things. It seems, though, the wettest place in England, um, which, is a, which is a valley um, in the Lake District, is actually dry. Um, which apparently is not a good thing. Not it's bad for the wildlife. Yeah, that, that I can understand. But it's also bad for the uh, for the for, for the fact that um, that uh, when the water re does come, it might change its roots through the whole place, which could be quite bad as well. So so yeah, it's not it's not been it's not been it's not been the best of uh, I'm not doing the best of weathers. Um, I'm sure that they've added a minute to this for no good reason. If I stop this, let's see what happens. Oh, it was loading. Bloody hell. Right, okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, we'll go for this one. I'm terrible, that was bad. This is a shorter one, by the way. This is the re-release. It obviously came out originally by Zagarat Software, so so that's the, the one it came out for. Ziggurat. That building, isn't it? It's kind of like a, it's like a maze, isn't it, of some sort? Like a, 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 a smaller version of a pyramid. If I'm right, I think so. Something like that. Don't know. I should, you know, something. I, I, I often look at my on my videos, and I was I was looking at something the other day, thinking of pyramids. Actually, think, thinking about, and I was I was I was scrolling, doom scrolling on Facebook for no good reason. I should have just stopped and just turned it off and not looked elsewhere. But I was doom scrolling on Facebook, and up came a, a thing from well, you know, it's Unilad, I think it's called. They're like a they're like a I guess a semi news outlet of some sort, probably supported by somebody we don't really want to support. That's really good. That's going to load beautifully. I can see that now. That's going to be the perfect. It's the way. It's going to be loaded. Right, okay, hang on. Mm. Mm. I think the other one would have been better because it's got, I think it's not broken. That's definitely going to break. I'm not even, I'm not even going to continue because it's a waste of time. Um, yeah, so um, Unilad. I'm going to go with the Zagarat one, the original one. Let's go with this one, see if this works any better. So they've got a thing about um, why you shouldn't visit the pyramids in Egypt. Um, so I clicked on this and I was like, "Really? Somebody's saying you shouldn't visit the, the this ancient sort of monument? I guess there's 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 I guess there's some political reasons not to visit Egypt, but but uh, I, I believe it's quite dangerous when you go outside of certain areas. But but I guess the touristy areas are safe enough. But but um, but but uh, yeah, they, yeah. Why why you shouldn't do that? First off, the, you know, going through the pyramid, and I'm going to spoil it for you because I don't think anybody should click on it because because I felt I felt I felt dirty afterwards. I clicked on it. Um, and it was a sort of one of these TikToky people. Um, sort of saying that uh, you know, first you have to climb um, on your hands and knees quite often for about forty to forty-five minutes. Um, there's no air conditioning in it, and it's absolutely awesome. And you go, hang on a minute, these are your three reasons, and then re the final reason is absolutely awesome. Now I, I get it; it's, it's clickbait in its nature, but but I felt really that one made me feel really dirty because I didn't think they were quite up for that kind of level of clickbait. They all are though, aren't they? They're all up for it. It's all about trends and loading, you know, not loading, you know, about sort of getting people to click on things and, and, and then you click on it. It's just like the mo worst story you've ever read. Part of your doom scrolling the whole things. And it's and, and YouTube does the same. YouTube, you'll, you'll see them. They're, 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 they're there, those 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 ones. I, I don't really, my, 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 I do all my thumbnails. I do all my own work. Yeah, I do, I do do all my own work. I do my own work, apart from the title sequence, which was made by a friend of mine. Um, and he used my videos in that title sequence. So that genetic demon, uh, real genetic demon sort of loading thing. That was created by a friend of mine um, for me. Um, uh, and, and, and he used my videos within that whole thing for that thing. So, so it's about the only thing on my channel that isn't my own. I use that title sequence that he provided me. Um, but... I do all my other stuff. I do all my own borders and do my own sort of thumbnails and all this kind of stuff. And 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 I don't resent people giving it the the big banner type stuff. But they're all the same, aren't they? There's an outline of your YouTuber on there usually. A nice picture of the outline of them, and then and then some text saying this didn't work or 
um, you won't believe what just happened. Um, I'm done and things like that. You know, you, they're, they're, honestly, these these are these are the lines you get. I'm gonna have to go back to using that that bigger one, by the way. That just that was rubbish. Um, after all that, I can't believe I stopped that on that there. there. Um, but uh, let's do the let's do the dodgy cracked version, which looks like it's a longer load, and we was definitely loading, even though I didn't think it was loading. Anyway, so uh, yeah, and they got that sort of you know outline YouTube. Uh, imagine this, and then or pictures of cash or the name of the company that they're kind of dealing with and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really do that. I'm probably to my own detriment. I should really should really just get into that whole thing and then post my videos absolutely everywhere, all over Facebook and um, Twitter and all that kind of stuff. But I don't really do that i do it more for fun than anything else i'll be honest <laughs> i like talking to you all though but you know but, um but 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 just a weird yeah but they're all the same aren't they you'll have seen them they're all the same and sometimes you're drawn in enough that you click the button on it um it's all clickbait nowadays it's all uh ratings and points isn't it no no real necessarily any real substance to, to, to things i still solve for fun so, so there's no real substance to any of mine, realistically. Oh, wow, it's now doing funny loading. Didn't do that last time round. It's just doing whatever it feels like, I think. <laughs> I'll take it. I like that, though. Look at those colours. I love to see lots of colours on those. Apparently, that's really easy to do, but I've never actually been able to do it myself. I've, I've, I used to, when I used to create my own Spectrum games, I used to do that sort of... Because the, the initial sort of load, the program thing, part of Element of it... It's usually just to load the code, you know. It, it basically just does load code. But, but, but back in the the early games of Spectrum games, you would have the the load dot the uh, load did did code, um, which means you load machine code, pure machine code. Um, it's surprising me that was quite difficult for people to do because, of course, you had to press I think it's um, extended mode and then press code. So people found that quite difficult rather than load did did, which is pretty simple, you know. So 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 a lot of games companies started putting that front end on it, that front sort of uh, you know load bit on it where you load it as a program um, which is a basic program this is also where you got your pokes put in so you'd you'd stop it after that first program loaded that was cool you remember doing that stopping it pressing the break key and then entering that poke into the whole thing yeah i was i was i was in w smith's occasionally writing them down in, in, in a on a pad, pen and paper with my, with my mates you know just sort of scribbling them down the quick ones out of the books oh they're brilliant aren't they it's so good because there's, there's a there's a level of there's a level of coding that's required there that, that I know it's not brilliant amount of coding but there's a level of coding to understand what you're meant to do in the first place. There's some brilliant stuff realistically, and then sort of later on they made it even easier by putting them on like crash magazines and they'd load like the you'd load the poke itself or whatever else it is and then and then uh, and then and then you'd you'd be able to load the game straight away afterwards. So it was kind of cool, but 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 I, I yeah I, I I rather enjoyed those those days those early days especially you know Jet Set Willy for the first time with the uh, with with hundreds of lives and things like that, which is of course then um, you would it was the death of you if you fell off the level and collided with the bottom bit where you couldn't you know remember that place that says you're doomed or welcome to hell was it was it welcome to, welcome to hell or you're doomed I can't remember the bit where you go in and see that horrible sort of ghastly monster going up and down the side of the screen and you just fall on it continually it's just under the uh, um, where the guards are and outside the the uh, the um, East wing, it will be of the of the house. That'll be the east wing of the house. Yeah, kind of cool, very cool indeed. I love that kind of stuff. Love, I love those kind of things. It's just, just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Mm. Coffee's good today. Um, what are you doing to stay cool? Uh, I'm just wondering. I wonder what everybody's doing to stay cool. We're uh, we we I invested in a one of these larger, um, you know, that you want these larger sort of garden pools, you know, that you can get. Uh, my wife saw one in Aldi, and I was like, I'm not paying £130 for one, um, for a sort of three-metre, two-metre type thing. It's a big pool, that, and to be honest, I was like, <laughs> it's not going to fit in our garden, <laughs> let alone anything else. So I got a slightly smaller one, and um, it's, it's two-metre by 1.5 metre, but it's big enough for sort of, you know, everybody to sit in, if they like, for a bit of, you know, with a, with a cold, cool drink and the cold, cold air, sort of cold, uh, you know, cold sort of uh, water and just and just enjoy a bit of a bit of relief from that hot hot sun realistically um so it's it's out in the garden kind of warming up a little bit in the sun right now but that's 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 i haven't quite got out to it i can't can't do what's on the tape from a pool be different if i could have you seen that cha that chap as well there's there's one of them there's click bait for you to begin with um the chap who does who, who used to do teams meetings but but basically had a green screen behind him and he'd go like surfing and stuff like that and um, while he had a green screen behind him 
It made no sense at all, realistically. I never understand how his computer survived that. I suppose he wanted one of them Dell ones, you know. And well, I say Dell, you know, the models are out there. The, the sort of tough ones, you know, that are water resistant and shock resistant and, and drop resistant and fall down a mountain resistant. Whoa, it's loaded finally. Blooming heck, that was some that was some doing. Right, okay, so we want one down. Let's press the key. All right, redefine the keys. Three. Uh, select key. Space. Uh, right. Left. Oh, use key. Z. Down. Up. Right, use keys there. Right, zero to start the key. Here we go. There's our little man. Look at him. Whoa! It's, it's, graphics are nice. It does take a bit of getting to speed. Is this the same thread that was in... I would assume you can climb that. Oh. There we go. I'm assuming this is the same thread that was in the game. You know, the way it goes in the dungeon, sort of climbing around the dungeon, escaping it. Oh, wow. Oh, Fred's swimming now. Come on, Fred, swim. We're just all we're all we're after is the usuals, you know, saving a princess. I've been bit in the bottom. I think I'm dead. Oh, I pushed the wrong key. Space is 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 the use key is a key that you could don't want to use as space because it's pause. Right. Okay. Let's let's change those keys quickly. Three. Uh, select M. Right. Left. Use. Down. Up. Zero. Oh, we can go that way. Ugh, fell on my bum. That's you. That's select. Okay, I'm having a run at it. Come on, Sir Fred. I can't get up that. Can I get in here? I think I'm stuck. Oh, oh Fred. I think I'm stuck. After all that, I mean, it looks really good, but after all that, I'm stuck. I think I've got this. I think this came out on Quicksilver. On Quicksilver. On um, uh, Silverbird, not Quicksilver. I can't get out of here. I need to just headbutt stuff until I die. Can I quit? I think I can only die from my stupidity here. Let's have another go in second. Well, let's go. We'll, uh, we'll have a little run through the. God, that took ages to load, didn't it? It took ages to load. Critical mass as well as next after this one. So, so I'm just going to start to rewind while we're doing this. But uh, wow, I did take ages. I like uh, the graphics are good. I, I the, the the getting run up to a bit of speed is a bit weird. It's a bit Sonic the Hedgehoggy, you know. Sort of, you kind of you can kind of screech to halt and then keep your speed up and you actually have to slow yourself down. There we go. Come on, Fred. Let's kill ourselves. Can't get out of here. So that's the reason why you don't go that way. That's well, definitely one I've not seen before. It's not a bad game. I got. I just want to die now, so I can go back and have a try at the other thing. Visit four percent. Basically, went to two screens. So let's uh, press zero again. Come on. Zero. Right. So let's get a run up here. Come on, Fred. Let's get a run up. Oh, 
And we fell down there. And we climb up there. So that was absolutely useless, that laddery thing. Oh, God, I've just ran into that as well. Oh, no. Up we go. Oh, yes, we're making it now. I am a legend. I'm the guy from the do 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 do. That's just because the lady loves milk tray. Do 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 do. What's that down there? There's a rock down here. Get the rock. I picked up the rock. I've got nine rocks now. All because the lady loves the milk tray. So you see, look, I'm going to come up here and uh, invade some lady's room because that's perfectly reasonable, as we all know. Um, oh, Fred, you're dead. No, not yet. I wonder if I can get through here. Visited 5% of the castle. Brilliant. Right, okay, continue on. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go. Right, critical mass next. Now, I can't remember much about critical mass. I know I've got it. I think it's got like a hoverboard sort of thing, a hovering sort of space vehicle that's flying across the surface of it, whatever else. Do you know some of this? Th there's almost... Almost some, some, I guess some, some, some use in that. But how do you do that in, on a, on a, on a planet? But, I mean, if you could hover over the surface, you could avoid all the dragged rocks and stuff like that. Couldn't you? If you were in space, that is. Don't know. Must be one of these Jurel games where it says, if it just doesn't have the, uh, the um, Jurel written along the tape itself, then please report them to uh, to, to, to Jurel. I always like the fact that Jurel still exists. I, I I I wonder about some of these companies. I wonder if they ever think look back with regret. I certainly think W. H. Smiths will do because they were a major publisher at one point of computer games, and they thought they wouldn't last. I mean, that's not even foresight. I mean, as any kid would have told you back in the day that 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 the 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 the, the, the games were going to last. That we were going to love these things. There you go. That's the thing hovering across the surface there. Coded by Simon Francis. Um, yeah. Um, it, 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 I, yeah, any kid could have told you that they were going to last. I could have told them they were going to last. But the, whoever was in that board of directors at, at, at W. H. Smith said, let's shed this little lot. I mean, as they now are shrinking um, dub, uh, w news agents. Print is now not necessarily dead, but 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 is it's definitely a shrinking sort of uh, 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 sort of uh, medium. Um, my W. H. Smith in in my hometown is just it's a shell of the the place it used to be. You know, I don't even use it very often. I don't even go there very often. I don't there's things like it's, it's it's you know it's weird, isn't it? That these the places I used to go regularly or haunt when I was a kid because um, they had Spectrum games in it and they had magazines and stuff like that. Don't go to anymore. Used to go upstairs and buy books, fighting fantasy, you know, choose your own adventure, all that kind of stuff. Brilliant stuff. That we loved it all. And you just don't do it anymore. You just don't haunt these places anymore. They just look it up on their phones and play games on their phones and 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 Google the results of things or use the other search engines available. In the future, of course, it'll get even worse. Um, I mean, I, I, I think that it will get worse because um, they, they'll, they, Google's busily piling in... Oh, the Google, sorry. Um, Microsoft's busily piling in, and not to say that Google hasn't already done this, um, their artificial intelligence into Bing to, to help you navigate, which means it'll take you, yes, accurately to the information, but it never takes you on those tangents that we used to have as kids, where we used to get an encyclopedia and you'd look up something, and as you were going through it, you flicked past something and you went, oh, I had no idea about a Google flop. And you would go find out what a Google flop was, or a, or, or a, or a, or a, a thing that you watch it. You know, one of those things. Um, but but it would it would often take you into to, to realms of things you might not know. And because you don't do, they don't do that nowadays. These kids, they don't do that. Don't they? Don't you know? We they're, they're just, it's, it's not a, it's not a, a responsibility of um, these information providers to expose the youth of today to 
other things. You could actually, I, t I reckon you could go through life not knowing about certain things. I reckon you could. I reckon if you turned off the news and only ever used those facilities, you could probably avoid everything you didn't want to see. Everything, forever. And only ever see what you want to see, which the problem with that is, of course, is the, it's the old bubble the formula. This is why things like DuckDuckGo exist, so the search engine DuckDuckGo exists, because it doesn't put you in a bubble, it just provides information for you. So, here's, the, here's how the bubble works, it's a very simple thing. I dislike so-and-so, celebrity so-and-so. The only stories I'll see on certain search engines is stories related to the, how horrible this person is. I say, I love that person. It will show me stories on how great that person is. And there is no balance. There is no medium between the whole thing. You just That's what you get. You get the bubble of the whole thing. Um, that was a very serious conversation, wasn't it, while that was loading? I think I was almost at the end as well. But, um, yeah, just that's the, that's the problem nowadays. That is the problem. You can, you, there's enough information one way or the other. You, you, if you... Uh, it's almost like I remember seeing my uh, most of my 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 sort of friends are quite um, liberal, social. I wouldn't say um, you know particularly uh, any particular party. I I always I always I always feel I'm a realist rather than a necessarily a socialist. I, I can't I can't stand to see children starving in a in a in a, in a cost of living crisis, but. When I saw watched the well, sort of the the election um, when Mr. Mr. Johnston, um, the now proven liar Johnston, um, um, uh, went up against uh, Jeremy Corbyn, my friends were more uh, liberal than that. So from my point of view, what I saw was what you would call almost a, a wall of red and yellow. Um, Whereas if you were less liberal or more, um, I don't know, right wing in your approach, you probably saw a wall of blue, um, which was actually really, really wrong because you didn't, you could no sense of balance about the whole thing, nor could you effectively at that point, and this is where the, the, the you know, people talk about affecting elections and stuff like that and sources of news, um, it gives, it gives no balance to it. And I, I, to some extent, it's almost like you shouldn't be able to do politics on it because if you do politics on it, you, and you you're going to see what your friends see, and your, your friends are going to be more like you than than anything else. And the balance needs to be to be struck with these things. I don't know. It's a weird one, isn't it? It really is. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not advocating anything one way or the other. But I do think that we there is a, a responsibility of um, I don't know corporations and um, and governments to behave themselves with the way that they use these media things. Um, uh, especially as they're such powerful tools now, as I say, I, I caught myself doom scrolling the other day, um, seeing nothing and and being caught by um, some pathetic clickbait just for the just because I was half interested. As I'd had a conversation with a friend about Egypt not too long ago and things like that, you know. And it it's that kind of stuff. It's um, it's quite invasive if you think about it for any second of time. Yeah, it's quite invasive. Anyway. We've got critical mass to go through. A space sort of romp. Look, he's even wearing a spacesuit in there because in case the, the casing gets blown free, and he can, and he, and he has to be exposed to the elements, just like Rogue Trooper. I found a 1990, 1998, um, uh, uh, 2008 annual the other day. So only for a couple of pounds in a, in a charity shop. I was on a, on, a, on, a, on a rampage during my week off. I, 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 I say rampage. Um, we did a. My wife and I spent a little bit of time going out and having some dinners and things like that together and some lunches. Just say nothing very exciting. Um, but, but but we went out and had some lunches and things like that. Um, just to sort of have some time, some space, and and get a bit of a breather from life because sometimes it can be a bit. You, you can know how life can be. It's gonna be hard work sometimes. So so a bit of a breather from all of these things. And uh, and uh, we, we 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 hit lucky the other day with a, with a sort of some good charity shop finds. You know, sort of a. I must have taken home about twelve, thirteen uh, PlayStation Two games, uh, including uh, Resident Evil Four and. Um, Evil Twin, which are both quite expensive games, um, and um, a, a few, a, a, and a few sort of cheapies that, that that I didn't mind picking up. Some sort of, you know, some 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 nice titles that, that I hadn't got just to add to my PlayStation Two collection. I do want to get more of my Xbox original collection done. I was frustrated this morning by the fact that um, I'm trying to to, to, to to soft mod so that you can you can sideload more games basically onto one and change the hard disk as well because they well, they wear out. Um, so 
softmod an Xbox original this, this morning and I was a bit frustrated because I forgot that I needed a really old memory stick that, that the Xbox was capable of reading. It took me about an hour to remember that before I had to go finding the original memory stick I used to softmod a previous Xbox. And it's not for me, it's for somebody else. But, um, but, but, but it, you know, the, 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 they're a good, it's a good thing once you've done that. I mean, I reckon, they say if you've got a two terabyte hard disk, you can fill it with, I think it's 839 games. That's what number that sticks in my head for the, for the Xbox original. There was, they were out there. You can technically put them all on one, one hard disk and have the whole lot just loading up if you wanted to. So, so, um, that's what the soft mod effectively does. So, so I've got a large, extensive collection of Xbox original games anyway, but, but it's one of those ones that's doable as a collection. There's a, there's quite a lot that are doable. Um, the Master System, I think, collection is is doable. That's ridiculous. That's right at the end of it as well. It is as well. Right, we'll get on. We'll get on Play ZX. We'll get on Play ZX. Let's find out Play ZX. Um, it's one of those. Oh yeah, hello. That looks corrupt, doesn't it, on the screen? Yeah, it's definitely doable. I think. I think. Uh, I think I think that uh, that's one of those collections that's doable as a as a collection to pick up. Um, critical. Critical mass. Why is there a side A and a side B? I didn't even know there was a side A and side B. Did you know there was a side A and side B of critical mass? I didn't know that. Let's pop this in here. There we go. New. I tried to close the cover on it. You can't close the cover on it. Right. Let's play that. Oh. There we go. Well, that's not been very successful in the case of loading many of these. They've all been a bit, uh, they've all been a bit, uh, you know, a bit sus there in the way that they've loaded. But anyway, it's, lo it's, go it's going for it now. It's going for it now. I keep checking, I tell you what, I keep checking the charity shops is that um, cassette tapes are turned back up again nowadays, but I still, as yet, have found, I've not found a Spectrum mother load. I'm, I'm one day I'm going to go in one of these charity shops, I'm going to open up the, I'm going to look in that, that section of uh, dusty tapes that nobody ever looks in by me, and go, oh yeah, found the ultimate Spectrum game, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, the big winner. I do know somebody who's won, a, uh, I say big winner, I do know one, one, it's like it's a competition, it's not a competition, which is we're all in together. We actually um, managed to find a, a unique game um, uh, and have it preserved as well, a missing in action game. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, I think that's. I think that's. I can't remember the name of it actually, to be honest with you. But but um, um, it, but but it's very cool that you, when people find these these sort of games. I've seen a couple of them turn up. These missing in actions from the day. Um, they kind of it. It's just they're just f wonderful things, you know. Um, unique games and things. It's it's just Spectrum's so good. It's, to be fair, that whole this whole generation of of gaming and and homebrews. Because of the fact that the, the simplicity and of the, the machines themselves, and the 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 the, the uh, small amount of memory that that, that meant you had to be you know, you know um, clever with what you were doing and experimental at the same time. I mean, what a wonderful generation this is. I'm not saying it's not not it's not happening nowadays, but but in the sa it's not in the same way. I mean, they would they they, they would argue now. I, I I always think this is funny, but you would they would argue now if you were coding for these things that why would you need to know machine code nowadays? You've got tools to do that. That's somebody else's job, you know. And that's the point, isn't it? It's kind of it's got higher and higher nowadays. You can you can almost um, sort of point and click. I mean, there's a thing called Godot, which is um, which is a free um, game design for the PC, um, Mac, and Linux. And I think it also does Android and iOS as well. If you pay for the the no, I don't think you pay for it. It's all free. I think it's Mac and Linux and PC. It does anyway. Godot. Um, and Godot basically um, created that the game that, that was been recently on the Avocade. Never was like fawning over it. Um, um, what was it called? Donuts, something donuts. Ag. Can't remember the, the exact title, but there was a game basically with donuts, and you basically have to collect the donuts as a little chef, and then put them in. It's arcade style, perfect arcade little conversion. Somebody created it with Godot, um, and it popped up on the Evercade because the Evercade is um, natively able to run that um, because it's effectively a Linux box. You know, that's that's exactly what it is. It's a little Linux box that runs these things, and the, and the emulators are on there, so it is actually capable of of doing doing those kind of things. So, but 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 it's free. But you can drag and drop with Godot. You don't actually have to get into the code if you, unless you want to. It's 
it's, it's one of these things where you can drag and drop and create your game by dragging and dropping. There's no real um, difficulty required. But, I mean, to be fair, this ex this extends right back to the early 16-bit games. Uh, Do anybody remember um, um, Amos or Amos? Um, which was the which was the um, sort of um, the, the the version for uh, the 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 Amiga. Um, there was one called Dark Basic for the Spectrum early days as well. Very much a very much an easier sort of system for doing it. I mean that's the whole point. Everybody's been trying to make it easier to write games, and that's and I, I, I think bonus points for that. But um, I do I do I do think there's a there's a real there's a real there's a real thing about loving how they were created in the first place. I've got I've got to admit I kind of like it when people know how they were created and how they went in the first place. Anyway, coffee now. I hope you've all got a beverage as well because I really need this today. As you can see, I, I think I sound quite croaky. I'll be honest. I think I'm, I've got a little bit of a bit of a croak going on with the whole thing today. It's kind of sexy, though. You all love it. I need to. I need to. It's a, it's a shame it's not live because we can get me to read. You could get me to read lines. And well, hang on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, uh, go ahead, punk. Make my day. It's not quite. Um, uh, it's not quite. It's not quite Clint Eastwood. But there we go. Uh, reward. If you copy this tape and it doesn't. It doesn't have. It isn't blue and it doesn't have the word Jarrell embossed on it. Then please. So let's quickly go past that because otherwise we're in trouble. Right. What do we do for case? What's the case? What's the case? What's the case? Where's the menu for the case? Come on, critical mass. Show me the menu for the case. Do 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 do. Come on, critical critical mass. Hit any key to start. Ah, there we go. Right, redefine keys. Three. Right. Space. Calf space. M. Thrust. Rotate left. Right. Press any key. Cool. Right, okay. Uh, zero to start the game. Right, I'm not sure what we're meant to be doing, but there's an arrow pointing that way at the bottom of the screen. Look, so so here's our little our little uh, moon pod, I'm guessing, and we eject with our little space vehicle. Oh no! It's got an arrow pointing that way. Look, pointing that way. I guess we're shooting these guys. I've exploded. Been hit by. Oh look, I'm a little. Oh look at me! I'm li been released. I gotta go back. I gotta go back the way I came. There we go. Can we get back in the moon pod? Yes, I can get another one. Oh, that's cool. I love the 3D graphics on this. Am I meant to be shooting these as well? Maybe maybe we're shooting them. I'll blow it up again. I like the explosion, it's kinda of cool. We've got nine minutes. It's like little Superman, but he's not Superman. I like a worm! It's June! Arrakis. June. Baron Harkonnen. Maybe not. That, that looks like diamond thing there. I think that's what I'm going to be shooting. No, not. Died again! Not sure what I'm going to be doing in this. Those particle effects are amazing! Watch out for the worms. Worm sight. We've got worm sight. Worm sightings. What's this? Can I? Oh, I think I've lost. Your mission failed. Survivor zero. Termination Im imminent. Ah, uh, okay. 
Not sure what that was about. I don't I don't think I've played that one before. If I've played it before, I can't remember. It looks like it could be quite good, but but yeah, okay. Enter the name and hall of fame. Enter. Yeah, it looks alright. I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing in it though. I got beaten by Karen, look. Good old Karen's beating me. Right, I've rewound the tape on the other side. Okay, let's go for this. Let's go for the let's go for the load did dit. Oh did dit. We're on the other side of the other tape. We're getting there. It's been a good episode. I've enjoyed it so far. I'm sorry about my my my, 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 my rantings and, 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 and uh, uh um, um, rubbishness that goes on. Oh, look at this. Right, I I put it on the Batman side simply because I want to treat myself with a bit of Green Beret. So I put it on the Batman side first. So the Batman side first, then the Green Beret side. We're going to treat myself, and then we've got Bomb Scare, which I can't remember much about. Pretty convinced it's one of these that's a bit of a dodgy loader on the old, uh, on, on the old uh, Plus 2 um, production line. But we'll give it a try. I mean, if it does load, great. If it doesn't load, load eh. We're not, we're, we're, we don't need to worry. We'll find something random on the old uh, PlayZX roulette of uh, of doom. A um, bit of roulette. I'm sorry, it's just scratching there. Just, 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 just scratching. It's so, just, oh. I don't know which Batman this is. I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's the isometric one, which is, which is the one where he's got to escape his own bat cave, with, which has more death traps than anywhere else in the world. Um, it's, a, it's just a one hundred percent death trap, to, guaranteed to, to murder any Batman that currently works through. I understand that there's, there's another Batman on the, on the cards. Um, the, the, the T, that, that, um, um, after they finished with uh, Robert Patterson, the, the uh, Mr. Twilight himself. Because um, he's got another, he's got another one coming. There's a suggestion that in the uh, new M um, DC universe, um, which which we know is is, I, I, how can you not do well with characters like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman? How can you not do well? How can they not be standing room only in the cinema? I don't get that. Is it just me? Or is it just, 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 I don't know. Anyway, how do they, do, I, I, the fact that they don't do well just galls me. Um, but, but you know, the, 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 the thing is that you've got these fantastic characters and you've actually got fantastic comic books you can draw on. And if you did the comic books, which were stories in their own right, good sort stories in their own right, you would have, you would have audiences like you would not believe. You know what they do with them. You know what they do with the good stories, and then they don't do a very good job of it. Um, I mean, it's not they're not awful, but they're not brilliant. Like they did Red Red Sun, which is where um, um, Superman um, instead of crash landing in Kansas, crash lands in in Russia, uh, becomes a, a a symbol of Russian hope and freedom. Um, Batman is also Russian and uh, wears a furry hat, which I think is hilarious. But but it's very very good. Um, but they did a cartoon version of it, and it's not as good as reading the original. I think it's Mark Milner as well, actually, or Miller, um, Milner, 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 Mark Milner um, comic. Um, it's not quite as good as that. The, 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 there are some really really blowing great stuff out there. It just straights the hell out of me. But anyway, back to Batman. That was the you know the guy. Who, if you've watched The Boys, which I do recommend watching. Um, Amazon haven't done too bad a job of converting it, but it's not the original story that Garth Ennis wrote. Um, the original story is much more vulgar um, and much more um, violent, and sort of uh, and, and kind of. Even though the TV series is pretty violent, it's, it's you, you, you have no idea if you've never read the comic book. They did quite a nice um, com conversion of that, but um, the character Soldier Boy in it, um, they've decided to make. They've asked. They've asked him. He's gone to top of the list apparently to play Batman um, because he's seen as quite. What happened there? Just stopped. Oh, that's not good at all. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose. Well, let's 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 have a let's have a Batman. Let's have a Batman. I'm gonna whatever Batman comes up first on PlayZX. That's the Batman we're playing. Right. So so let's find a Batman. 
Batman. I'm not having that. It's not very good at all. Batman. I'm Batman. Oh, look, there's a Cape Crusader. That was always really good. The bird in the hand one. Batman re release. Is there a. Batman the movie? Wow, that's loading. That's a long loading one, that one. Right. We're just going to go with the first one that comes up here. Uh, there. Right, okay. Let's go for it. I don't know which Batman this one is, but we're going to go for it. It's basically the same one as the, all the other ones, but it's the re-release from um, Hit Squad in 1986. I'm not sure which one this is. I think this is the movie one. I think. Not sure. I don't think it's the ocean one. The ocean one's cracking. It's got a beautiful um, double dual case with the with the logo in the centre of it. It's beautiful. Very sexy. You can have a sexy cover. Yeah, you can. You can have lots of sexy covers. I've got the. Uh, I've got. I I bought. Um, I hadn't realised it was in Spanish though. And it's be beautiful, but it's beautiful. Um, the artwork of um, um, Frazona. Um, basically, he's the guy who did um, a comic, uh, comics called Laura. Um, they're very, they're very, um, they're very artistic. They're art pamphlets. <laughs> no, but it's beautiful artwork. To be honest with you, some, some, some lovely, some, some lovely designs and some, some, some beautiful um, watercolors. It's just, it's just, it's just. Yeah, they're very, they're very different. Um, European design can be very different. I do like the uh, 70s aesthetic of those particular ones. They're really nice. He says talking downwards. Sorry, they were really nice. I think seventies aesthetics. There's a there's a comic book called Profit. I really like Profit. Profit has a beautiful, um, what style would I call it? Have you ever seen the the artwork of the the sort of the, the movie The Yellow Submarine? Not a bad movie at all. Been the Beatles in there, surprisingly. Um, but the Yellow Submarine um, is a, a a beautiful. The artwork in that it's kind of very much what's in. So it's sixties, seventies, very much what's in uh, Profit, and it's it's a lovely, it's a it's a it's a lovely design and, and a lovely look. It was a it was a nice series. It was a weird series. It's kind of like the birth of of, of a strange alien species right through to its its ultimate extinction and things like that. Um, there are some great comics out there. I don't. What I don't recommend is going. I like Marvel. I like DC. I think you should shouldn't shouldn't choose shouldn't, shouldn't hammer your banner to any of those particular um, things. I mean, I actually rewatched recently, and I don't know why I did it. I rewatched the original um, Iron Man, and I and I was thinking to myself, do you know this is what Marvel used to do, or, or what Marvel should say? What, what yeah, what Marvel did because it was before it was owned by Disney. I said this is what they used to do. They used to actually write quite good stories um, and then you would have quite a good storyline and it would be quite and it would be quite fun as well at the same time a bit of action filled and it was it was quite it was quite nice and then of course you got the one and two and three is is, is, is uh, sorry one two and three three is a bit of a masterpiece with the with the with the uh, with the with the, the post traumatic stress syndrome um, the uh, extremist um, uh, approach to it which is the the the, uh, the sort of the, the next bit but 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 they just then They try and sell it. They try and sell it to kids, but there's there's also a generation like you know myself who read these comic books and have done for generations, and they've never ever been particularly aimed at you know apart from when there was sort of sanctions on on comic books because they turned children into violent psychopaths. I still remember the advert for it before. Is it a double? the double AC or something similar it was this like American sort of checking that the, the comic books were wholesome for children and um, if they weren't they would start stabbing trees with knives because I remember this is like little Johnny stabbing a tree it's actually an advert for it as well it's ridiculous um, but yeah it, 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 it not a really um, what the hell's going on is that loaded that's stopped it's not done anything I'm trying to see if I've got Batman behind me Is it beside me? Come on, where's Batman? I know it's here. Hang on, you stay there. I'm going back in a second. One second, I'm just going to have a look. I think it's just behind me. Hang on. Batman. Batman. Yes, I found it.
Got it, got it, got it. You stay there. Hang on, I'm coming. Oh, bugger. Don't stay there. Hang on. Well, I've got another one. I've got another one. Got another Batman. There we go, it is. Ah. I've got it, got it, got it, got it. Right. Forget all that. I've got one here. This should work, hopefully. Right, let's see if this one works. Let's see if this one works. I've got Batman the Cape Crusader, which is the which is a later release, wasn't it? Um, uh, uh, it's mine's terrible. It doesn't have the comic book or anything. Um, I know that it was double sided because there was two games, wasn't there? It was one game on one side and one game on the other. I remember my friend getting this, and I was absolutely, I was like, I was, I was really upset about it because he had that. Remember those um, those funny subscriptions you used to have in the way you used to buy the magazine? Do you remember those ones? So you used to buy the magazine. You had to buy at least one computer, two computer games out of it. And the first magazine was always this sort of like scammy sort of thing where it was like one pound and you could get like three games or something similar. And then they would do that bastard thing that they used to do and I say that with with, a, with utter delight to say that um, they used to do that thing where they would then sell you Lord of the Rings and it would be Lord of the Rings and it would be the only thing in the whole thing and you had to buy it because it was you were on a contract with them because this is how you get into discount you had to buy one item from it and that item would be like 50 quid because it was it was oh this tape's this is tape's good this tape's good let's rewind it let's rewind it let's rewind it um, you know, you'd have to buy that one thing because because that's all that was on there. Fifty quid's worth of blooming Lord of the Rings. I remember my mate, his, my mum was absolutely upset because he he kind of convinced her to do it. He sort of said, you know, this is okay. This is how we're gonna do it. You know, it's it look at how cheap they are, mum. You know, I can get really cheap games and save myself a fortune. And they weren't actually cheap at the end of it all. They're really really expensive. And he was he was, he's he, you know some of them some of them some of the months were terrible. And she was she you know it's like it was and it what they weren't exactly um, the richest people of the world. So 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 you know it would. It would really impact, you know, what they could do or not do if they they had to choose between these things. It was really scummy that. I actually think that was, I think that was really bad. If you were going to do that kind of book club type thing, that you shouldn't have done that. But they don't. I don't think they do that anymore, do they? I don't. I, I've not seen it for years. I suppose they still, they must still sell it to the the older generation. However, that older generation is getting a lot older now. They're they're even a generation which spent time on computers and things like that. Bird. I don't know what the diff what bird is. I hope not. Batman. The I don't know. This is the Crepe Crusader one, anyway. Yeah, one's the penguin, isn't it? One's the Joker on one side. That's how it works. I don't know the general. Beyond that. It's really nice, though. Graphically, it's really nice. My friend had it on the Amstrad, and it was really, really nice. I was very jealous of him when he had the box set version of it. Or the boxed version of it. I've always jealous of things like that. Jealous of those kind of things. I was. We were all jealous of those people when they were lucky enough to get it. And to be fair, though, I wasn't because he, because he got into so much trouble over the fact that he had to buy that that Lord of the Rings. I do remember it as well. It's Lord of the Rings. And then we tried to play it, and we were like, uh, we were we were an age. We, we I mean, didn't mind a bit of reading or whatever else it is, but but we weren't really we weren't really the, uh, the uh, in, into that kind of thing, um, particularly, you know was it was all right wasn't 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 really the thing we wanted to to play though we, we you know we, we, we i mean lord of the rings lord of the rings has always been a thing hasn't it it's because it's because do you know why there's a solid story a solid story another one with a solid story i see keep harping on about solid stories and solid this that and the other I, I, i'm like a broken record just let me let, let me stop being a broken record um yeah this is definitely the the batman the cape crusader this is very clever, though. This is this is such a, such a clever um, way with its the the sort of um, I guess the comic inserts as you play this game. It's really good. It's really 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 good. Excellent story. Fantastic story. Um, Hush, great story from from Batman. Um, got got a translation into the uh, cartoon version. Why do they keep doing that? You know, you would, that's the one that needed a big screen adaptation and like 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 for like for the whole thing, but they didn't. They plumbing did a cartoon version of crappy sort of release I don't understand when you've got such fantastic things in your your your, uh, your grasp that you can't do that and then they'll go raid things I'm, 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 uh, you know the, 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 there was a, a comic book that I heard was going to be created and I don't think it actually happened there's one called The Ocean it's a really good story um, stuff by I mean I've got picked up recently some uh, comic books from 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 one of my sort of um, uh, Jeff Laramie his name is and I I like Jeff Laramie he's got a, he's quite a, he's quite a good he's quite a good writer he's, he's 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 got a nice style to him and he's and he doesn't he's not afraid to uh, I'm just googling it actually because I want to 
don't remember the name of the other one. I think it's Undersea Welder that he does. I quite like Jeff Laramie. He's got 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 a quite quite a nice style. He has done he has done Batman and Robin. He's done Moon Knight as well, which is a fair comment. Um, I think he did Underwater Welder. I think I like was Underwater Welder. I'm not, I'm not going to say Underwater Welder. Yep, it was Underwater Welder. And there's another one as well that he's done. Um, I'm trying to think of the other things he's done. He's, as I say, he's quite a, quite a quite a quite a nice quite quite a good writer. Um, but he but he goes with story rather than. Uh, Rather than um, you know, what, rather than sort of the usual uh, sort of, uh, I, I, guess, I guess you know, the, the, to be fair, good writers go with stories, not not with anything else. But he's uh, he's I'm trying to find the other one that he did. This is quite a quite a surreal one with a giant in it. I can't remember what it was called. It might not be him actually. Sentinel? No. Yeah, good writer though. Like that one. Of course, he's responsible for Sweet Tooth, as to now TV series, of course, on Netflix. And nobody was it? Nobody? No, it's not nobody. Underwater world. Uh. Anyway, quite quite like that as a writer. So 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 um, you know, just great stories, and 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 you can't you can't you can't beat a. It's a good story. Um, it doesn't need to, doesn't need anything else. No, no, no more massaging it with uh, with uh, what you do or don't need. Really good, really good, really good. Oh, fingers crossed. A few seconds. Top corner. Top left hand corner. There's a Joker laughing. What a great screenshot that is. Hard boy mixed. Oh, it's the song. A bird in the hand. Five new keys. Up, down, left, right, fire. Oh, did you see the bat sign? Do -do -do -do. Can't do anything than that. Can't go up there because I've just come down. Look at that though. Look how cool Batman looks. And we go in here. Let's pick up that. Insert disc. I've got to find a disc to get the back cave to work. Special effects. It's an adventure. There's the way. The way out. I don't want the way out though. I want. I want the uh, insert the disc because I've got to try to track down the penguin. No. Nope. What a clever look though. Can't do anything with that. Ooh, what's that? Let's find out what that is. You now have a bomb. Can I go the other way? Cross here. You now have a lockpick. I got a wrench. Look, broken machines. You now have a tool. There we go. We can do our options look. Use RIP. Got your health, your strength, and all the other stuff. And I can go poo. I don't know what poo's for. There's your save. Exit. Can I exit this? How do I exit this? There we go. Return the game. Broken machines. Batarang. You now a batarang. Right, which where does this take us? I could spend ages in the caves. I've got a red nose. That's the Joker's, of course. Now we'll go back in the bat cave. You now have the bat disc. Insert the disc. Insert the disc. Oh, it says insert the disc. Hang on. How do I get my options up? Uh, uh, I have to pick it up. Uh, disc. 
people pl pe games people play. All right, they're playing Batman. Cool. Let's get out of here. The way out. Wanted the Joker. Uh oh. Let's use my batarang on these guys. I'm gonna batarang them. Can't kill them though. Why can't I kill them? I'm go up there. You have rope. Oh, he's batarang on them. Take your pick. All oh, right, got you some pick on this. Oh God, did you see him sort of do mini dances there? Use. I have picked up, picked a way into it. Oh God, I'm getting zapped. Really good. I don't know what I'm doing. There's penguins there. Look on the floor. There's a penguin's men. That's cool. Actually, really cool. I like that. I like that. I can see why I would have been really into that. I don't think I've got time to give it any more than a that sort of a a, a momentary sort of dusting of uh, of me looking at it. But um, no, it's kind of good that. Right, I've rewound um, Green Beret while you weren't, weren't while you weren't looking. I put it in the other tape deck. Uh, put it in there. Let's get Green Beret on here. This is uh, a Joffrey Smith, isn't it, Joffa? Um, who's who uh, sadly passed away a bit too early in life, um, but this is a this is a this is a this is a oh this is a classic. This is this honestly, this is one of the best games on the spectrum. I think it's 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 up there. There, there are a lot of them, by the way, that are really good. I, I don't think I can make. I said this. Well, I don't think I could ever make a list because I don't think I could ever choose between the the multitude of fantastic games that are out there but this would be in that chunk of 100 games or 50 games or whatever else is including sort of uh, target renegade renegade um this one um uh, the 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 stuff by um uh, julian gallup you know sort of uh, 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 uh sort of uh, the the chaos um, uh, Rebel Star, Rebel Star 2, um, uh, Laser Squad, Lords of Chaos. Um, then you could, then you, then you've got. This isn't going very well. Not even gonna try it. Gonna give it. Gonna give it. Gonna give it the old place that X. I think just to make start sure we load it because I don't. That's just been. That's just been really awkward. Um, so let's just do that. Yeah, I, so many great games out there. So many fantastic games on the spectrum. So many things that, from budget titles to 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 to, to full price games. They are all. There's some really legendary things out there. And they're they're so worth playing. They really are. They're so worth playing. This one this one in particular is one of my faves because because it it's one of those games that I bought with my pocket money and I say seven ninety five this was. Seven ninety five. I don't know why it's seven ninety five. It's a very funny number, isn't it? Seventy five five. But it's seven ninety five and this just a legendarily good sort of um game. Just just amazing. A double dual case of the man on the front of it with his with his M sixty machine gun sort of uh, you know, rattling off bullets. But the most amazing thing about this course is he never does actually use an M sixty in the whole thing, does he? I don't think. He uses a knife because it's like so hard. He doesn't need a gun. Parachute him in anywhere. Because of course this is a this is a a, a make of, a remake of, a, of the arcade um, game Rush and Attack. Um, so Rush N Attack, you know, so with a N in it, like ghosts and goblins, and so with a N in it. But Rush and Attack. So so it's a remake of that. I mean, just a just a phenomenally good sort of. Arcade conversion. There are some really good ones in there. I quite like Mikey as well. Mikey's a good arcade conversion. I think in a thing. There's so many good ones. And I mean, and let's be honest, Codemasters did a whole bunch, a whole bunch of fantastic games. I mean, they they, they really did. I like that uh, Mission Jupiter. I quite like that. It's a nice little shooter. Though. A supercar, Italian supercar, which is obviously the, the the which is Super Stuntman Two. Why did they change the name on that? That was a an odd one. The professional ski. Super tank was tough, but 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 cool. 
I quite like Ghost Hunters and ATV. Now, ATV and Ghost Hunters are pretty good. And of course, then you've got Dizzy. Lots of Dizzies. Tons and tons and tons of Dizzies. They were all of the same style quality. I have to admit, I'm not as keen on the this, the 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 the, the um, um, CJ the Elephant ones. I'm not. I don't think. I think that they're very formulaic by the end of it all. Um, they do have a feel of um, New Zealand story, but but they're not quite New Zealand story. Which, by the way, is on the. Uh, the, the I'm, I'm, and this is a side, by the way. It's on the DS. It's one of those things. Is I think it's slightly old on the DS though. It's a bit like um, I think Rainbow Islands. You have to draw the rainbows on Rainbow Island on DS. So 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 you've got the rainbow, and then you can draw a rainbow to do it, which is kind of a bit weird. Um, so there's so some some weird sort of combinations that work well, but but you know it's a bit like but but then of course Arkanoid in it as well, which is like the full two screens, which is kind of cool as well. So uh, yeah, but this is the Konami um, Green Beret, better than the arcade version by a million miles, without a doubt. This is the better version of it. I mean, there he is with his M60 going for it. Because you can use, you can fire them one armed. I'm told that it's a, it's a, 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 there's a very, there's very little feedback on the old thing, so you can fire them definitely, you know, shoulder mounted into your arm there. But of course, he doesn't need it most of the time. And then there's a stormtrooper sitting on the top of the, uh, the, the thing firing down at him. You can tell he's a stormtrooper because he's got that white helmet on, hasn't he? It's probably why he doesn't need guns if they're actual stormtroopers, because they, yes. Let's not go into the let's not go into the Star Wars. They're professional troopers, and they missed us on purpose. And everybody then says that they can't hit for anything. Why? 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 I still love stormtroopers, though. I got a couple of Star Wars figures when I was out the other day. I got a I got a, a Bo Katan because it was cheap, um, and I got a and I got the armor. So both from uh, Mandalorian. I still haven't watched season three though. Do, do kind of mean to do that, but we still as a family we we like quite like to watch it as a family um, but nobody's had time to do it so so we need to we need to kind of sit and watch it as a family i think it's going to rain where i am now i'm looking out the door and i think it's going to rain so i've got, got in trouble of putting the old um putting the old um um swimming pool out and then and, and then we're not not going to need it right one for keyboard uh up down left right stab shoot I'll do perfectly. You happy with these? Yes, I am. Stab to start. That's it. We've got to rescue all these things. And the best part of this is when it goes wrong again. The graphics are fantastic, by the way. They look better than the arcade, without a doubt. Stab to start. Yeah, I'm going to get special now. So I've got my special thing, this is where my shoot comes in, I've got flamethrower. I need this in a minute. I still got hit by the grenade, you idiot! Killed it with the with the with the flamethrower, still got hit by it. I'm just an idiot. I love this game, but I'm so bad at it. I'm unlike the uh, the, uh, um, the 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 uh, the the mighty. Um... Oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it! The mighty um, Andre Russell. He is he, of of, of uh, Zombie Bob's um, Emporium of a Tap, which is by the way still the most fantastic game ever, or fantastic name ever for a, for a, for a channel. Um, he's just a legend at this. He, I mean, honestly, he's, he's he can he can he can finish this without without even losing a life. He can actually loop it several times on. I think I literally every version, the arcade, the lot, just everything gets looped. It's just brilliant, amazing. Have a bit of that. Just felt felt like doing that. Sometimes you just see want to see the map, the world burn. There we go. Yay! I just used all web specials there. I'm gonna go this way. Damn! I forgot you like climbs that. Arg! I never, I never, I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at this. Damn you! Hate the r jumping Russians. My weakness, jumping Russians. Come on. Oh, 
I used to be really chuffed with myself as a kid if I could get to the second level. I need to save this. Okay, okay. There's absolute concentration going on here. You can hear because I've, I've gone quiet. Here we go. Here's the van. Right, wait for them. Wait for them. Wait for them. Last second. Many as possible. Wait for the last second and then kill them all because you just have to keep the defeat this van. And then whatever else comes out of it. I did it. Yes, I'm at the harbour. Amazing. I won't, I won't do very well on here. There's only, I think there's only five levels, I think there's. There's five levels of, 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 of two, five levels too much for my liking, because I'm rubbish, whoa. Now you get the sort of grenade launcher thing. Oh, God, and I've just died. I don't know if that's me over. Yes, it is me over. Oh, my God. Right, come on then. Let's get bomb scare in. We'll finish this little lot off and we'll get this volume complete. It'll be lovely. It'll be perfect. It's just what we need. And then we'll all jump in the pool. Well, I'll jump in the pool and you can you can jump in whatever you're jumping in. <laughs> I had a frappuccino the other day. I don't think I've ever had one of those before. I don't think I've ever had a... No, I've not had one before. I had one the other day. Um, a nice cold one. Daughter convinced me to, to to get one the other day. Um, it's not it's not my usual kind of thing. You can at least get a shot of coffee in it, so there's you know there's at least a little bit of caffeine involved in it. But um, yeah, I, I, she convinced me to get one, and I, I was I was like kind of confused by what it was. Here we go, bomb scare. I don't know if this will load or not. We'll see, because it's one of those. Eh, don't know. I I just have a feeling it's not a it's not a it's not a lover of the uh, 128k. I'm going to finish off what coffee I've got. I know it's been an hour, but uh, it's cold and it's beautiful. We love it. Mm. Oh, well, at least my throat's feeling better after all this chatting to you. I've just, by the way, just snipped the microphone over, so if it made it sound like a... No, it's because I knocked the microphone. I have a feeling this is part of a, a, a continuation of... I think Spike was the first game. I think this is the continuation for it. It's kind of... I think it's trying to be Bomb Jack, but it's not Bomb Jack from Remembry. There's certainly the Taj Mahal in it, which, of course, it features in Bomb Jack. That's not doesn't mean it's exclusive to Bomb Jack, but, but I certainly remember something like that. Um... Not sure. We'll see. I know it's though it's it's lost the 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 the, the um, BT style loader where it loaded in chunks that allows you to rewind. It doesn't. It just loads in one. But if it's what I think it is, it's probably going to fail. Unfortunately, when it actually loads, and we'll try something else to finish off with. But that's fine. We'll we'll we love it anyway. We we love it. We love a bit of spectrum action that goes badly wrong. So that's a good thing. Good things in life. Uh, beautiful things in life. Everybody's waiting for me, by the way, my asshole, to finish doing this because um, they're all waiting for their lunch at this point. I'm starving them all to death. It's not even that late. It's not even that late. I'm starving them all. They're all they're all going to die of of of, uh, of lack of food. It's definitely dropping the temperature day. It's amazing, isn't it? The day that I've, I've so I get I get I, I decide that I get this cheap pool thing off the, off the old. Uh, um, Amazon and and then and then of course the day that I want to, want to use it, it's no longer sunny. Like it's so British, it couldn't you couldn't make it up. My granny used to have that. Do you remember that kind of thing when you get back in the day when you had? My granny used to. She had a little reasonable, not a massive garden, but she had a little sort of semi-detached in in the suburbia, and she used to have a reasonable sized garden. She used to put she used to put up a she used to put up a tent in the garden. You know, sort of a two birth tent, two or three birth tent, or whatever it was. No, it was, it was bigger than that. But anyway, it's a fairly decent size, so you can get in the tent to stand up. Um, and, and then beside that, she used to put the pool. And uh, every time you come out in the morning, you know, you come to the pool where the pool was, and it was always cold, freezing cold. It was, I don't know, it, was just, it, was, it wasn't put in the sun in any way, shape, or form. It's freezing cold. And uh, and uh, um, you used to come, and then you just scoop all the leaves off the top and all the pond skaters and things like that going back to the falls in the pool. See, I got I got a cover for mine just so that, that didn't happen. But, uh, but uh, I remember that, the, the bits of sort of... Um, 
grass and stuff like that floating in the surface of the whole thing and everything that had obviously been in it, the birds overnight and, you know, the various sort of bits and pieces. Those were the days, you know, toxoplasmosis was not a thing. You didn't have to worry about those things. Those, no, not, not a single pigeon ever had that in the, in, in, in the time when I was growing up, no. None of that at all. No, no sick animals anywhere that were in your water source that you were playing with. You know, just chuck the kids in later; it'll be all okay. Um, but yeah, so, so I remember those kind of things. It was weird, wonderful things. But uh, um, and bomb scare is taking blooming ages to load. I can't believe it. it's taking load. Mace is still loading. I see somebody doing reproductions actually recently of, of covers of delays. I'd really, I kind of, I kind of want to go you know clean them all up and tidy them all up because I feel a bit bad that I, I always feel bad about this I, mean, I do know somebody does it in, in Spain but of course nowadays delivering anything to Spain is a pain in the behind especially since uh, since uh, Brexit went so well uh, most people don't even trade in and out of the UK anymore and, uh, in, and certainly within the, the retro groups that I work in which, which you know that I work in I play in you know but buy stuff from it's just a real shame even I'm a bit um, nervous about the, the postal service between the two and the actual costs as well it's uh, I don't know what happens. It's 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 just it's just stupid. I I don't. I, I, yeah, they managed to achieve what they wanted to achieve, which was to make the the nation more insular um, and lock itself away. And they just certainly managed to achieve that very well, didn't they? Um, not a very not a very good thing for for anybody who wanted to something more than that. Right? Are we almost there? Gotta be. Here we go. There we go. Oh, keys. Q Q W A S Q W A S. That really shit keys. Can you change them? Q W A S. Really? Okay. Oh no, it's not not the game I'm thinking of at all. It's an isometric. I blow an eight isometrics. Well, key works. A and S don't work. All the keys don't work. Oh yeah, that, this works really well. I can do Q, which means I can walk into the corner, but I can't do anything else. No other key is working for me. Well, that was a long load for it not to do anything. It looks nice, though. He's a bit of a dusty bin type of shape, isn't he? He's a bit sort of circular kind of thing. Uh, oh, hang on. Did I spot something there? Hang on. Did I manage to... Well, well what was that? What have I... Where have, how to rotate there? I managed to move there. Ah, p oh, oh, all oh, right, it's QAOP and whatever else, well, I don't even, look, I can put, I can protrude out the front, with my little, little shot thing, all right, I, I remember this now, I do remember this, I don't remember it, I, 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 I think it has appeared before on Watson Tape, basically we're trying to just find bombs to get rid of, so that, there we go, next, next life, we'll take that. Well, we won't take that. We'll just drive around randomly and crash into stuff before I die. Yeah, it's all right, I suppose. If it was a budget tile, one ninety nine, an early, an early, uh, an early isometric. Okay, let's shoot the bomb because that's going to be a good idea, isn't it? Let's just try and set it off. I picked it up. I have I have a bomb. I am bomb proof. Yeah. Definitely take and leave this one. I guess not a bad thing for its cost. I've got I've got two bombs. I've died, I think. That's me completely dead. Oh no, I've got three lives. Well at least your lives go quite well. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I think we can leave that one. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Team, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.